From, a, from an intellectual standpoint or from a theological standpoint, I think Joe's legacy is yet to be fully appreciated, in my humble opinion. Uh, for I think the work that Joe, and then Joe would give credit to the whole collective mind. This was not just Joe. There was, uh, when, you, when you were part of this thing, just like I was talking to you about being in a research center, where all of a sudden, I was nothing special, but I participated in this field of creative endeavor that occasioned, because I was, the, the field was real there, it occasioned that creativity within me and others. So too in the order. Taken individually, you know, we're just on a scale of sons of bitchness, you know. There's a big son of a bitch, and there's a little son of a bitch, and medium son of a bitch. But we were just, you know, we're just individuals, and always will be. But collectively, you get a field of energy. You get a field of consciousness in which people operating with a common mind, and a common image, and a common set of methodologies, and a common vocabulary, all of a sudden can communicate and co-create even at a distance that absolutely is marvelous. And when you put a thousand people together who are doing this, which we often had in our summer programs, you get amazing creative breakthroughs in how to understand things, how to model things, how to interpret things, and so on. And so all of our work was based on our capacity to enable the collective corporate mind to have expression. We didn't surrender our souls. We didn't surrender our individuality. We weren't part of a cult. We didn't worship Joe or anything else. We all understood that we were here with our own accountability and our own journey. Nevertheless, we understood that what we call disciplined corporateness was the key to our capacity to create. 